know the um, photographer that I got inspiration from for our Red Room shoot? Yeah, Paolo Reversi. Paolo Reversi. I was um, combing through the internet the other night and saw another shoot that he had done that was very inspirational. So it was the series that he did of projections on the models and they were wearing these sunglasses and I thought, let's take that as our inspiration. So I'm thinking of, you'll take out some sunglasses you don't wear anymore. I have plenty of those. Creating in Scaparelli fashion again, some avant-garde sunglasses and I will embellish them with some stuff that you have that were like that you, broken jewelry broken or? jewelry feathers pieces of plastic i'll spray paint some things create like five or six pairs of sunglasses for you to wear with each outfit well that means we don't have to do eye makeup which is cool but i still will probably give your eye a slash or something so okay. if you see it through maybe an eyebrowless look so maybe giving a david bowie vibe sure do you remember watching Making the Cut with Heidi Klum and yes. Tim Gunn? Oh my God, of course, yeah. And do you remember the guy who won? Johnny Coda. And he's LA based. Right. So I didn't tell you this, but about a month ago, I started reaching out to Johnny. Oh. Just to see if I could establish a relationship with him. Sure. And he is so very cool. Yeah? Yeah, responded back. And um, he's in Bali right now, um, creating his next collection. I reached out to him regarding this idea. And I even sent him the video uh, reference, and he loves it. Cool. So he's giving us access to the store where I can go in and choose whatever I want to shoot. So I thought we would go in and choose five or six looks. Awesome. I'll pair them with the sunglasses. We'll project some cool, colorful images on you. And that's the shoot. Very simple. Cool. So what are what, like are his clothes colorful, or what are we going for the vibe with his clothes? Black and white. There's lots of black. Uh, but you know, white would be good for a projection. Right. I want to go and look and just be inspired by what we see in the showroom. Perfect. All right. Where's North from here? We love Johnny Coda. Johnny was so nice and gracious in letting us come into his boutique and select items for the shoot. His clothes are super cutting edge and really modern and they work perfectly with the imagery that we put on them. Both Robert and I were huge fans of Johnny's previous line, Skin Graph. But I must admit this new collection is truly sickening. I can literally still smell Johnny's store in my mind. I mean, the clothes were fabulous. Every little detail had been thought out, including the smell. And I actually am wearing right now his clothes. So that could be what you're smelling. It was the glitter of freeze. Doctor Elf. Listen, you want a credit, I believe you. The first thing we are going to do with our money from our patrons is buy a new hot glue gun because this one sucks ass.
That's right, it's about that time. Spraying time! And luckily, we have our friend Connor to assist. After our last shoot, I was very excited to have lipstick on my actual lips this time as opposed to my nose hairs. For this look, I was thinking glam rock, like a cross between David Bowie, Chris Corner of IMX, and the MC from Cabaret. For this photo shoot, I wanted to use Jay's own hair. He's growing it out, and so there's a lot I can do with it. So I just thought each look, I'm going to comb it in its own specific way and create some really cool, high concept glam rock hairdos. Fucking so loud, too. <laughs> the camera goes on and he shuts up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nail in the door and it's glass on the lawn Tacks on the floor and the TV is on And I always sleep with my guns when you're gone It was beautiful seeing these images projected onto Jay with these really cool sunglasses I had just made hours before. I mean, it was really fulfilling me creatively. It was so pretty, so beautiful. Thank you to Paolo Roversi and his amazing mind. What should I do? Just a little baby. What if the lights go out and maybe? And then the wind just starts to move outside the door. And follow me home now. Good night. Move now, walk us up. If it's not here soon, I might be done. No, it won't be too soon till I say good night, moon. There's a shark in the pool and a witch in the tree. A crazy old neighbor in me has been watching me. And there's footsteps loud and strong coming down the hall. Something's under the This was by far one of my favorite pieces that Robert selected, the Paris dress. I remember watching it on Making the Cut and thinking how cool it was. Little did I know I would be wearing it months later. Once again, Robert had a challenge for me as a model. There's always some sort of conflict I have to get over. For this shoot, I literally could not see. Lights were being flashed into my eyes, things were being projected over me. I had no clue what was going on. I just had to, as always, trust the process and genius. 
guess that is Robert Heyman! <laughs> Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? These were my favorite pair of glasses that Robert made out of an old leotard of mine. I loved them so much, I literally wore them the next day for a shoot. I don't say so myself. These images, this shoot was straight out of the pages of Italian Vogue, my favorite magazine.
For a lot of this shoot, I had to be extremely still because Robert was trying to align the projected image onto me in a certain area. Thus, small movements like micro mouth movements were all I could really do to model and get the shot. In total, the shoot was extremely creatively rewarding.
Icon.